Okay, so let's talk about NDCs. So we have, you know, again, we talked about the types of pricing, AWP, average wholesale price, WAC or WAC, uh, wholesale acquisition cost, ASP, average sales price. Um, we have another acronym, NDC, National Drug Code. Um, these are the individual products. All right, so um, typically we'll see an 11-digit NDC appear. If you look at, you know, if you go home and open up your, uh, you know, medicine cabinet, you'll find an NDC on everything from over-the-counter products to, you know, the latest and greatest anti-neoplastics, probably not in your medicine cabinet in that case. But um, each of these drug products will have their own 11-digit code. They're broken down to three segments, the manufacturer code, which is usually, again, tied to an individual manufacturer, the product code, which is an internal uh, segmentation that they group different products between strength and dose, and then uh, thirdly, the package code, which will be identifying different package sizes. We will see 10-digit NDCs uh, float through, and typically a leading zero would need to be added into those different segments. So if a manufacturer code only had four, ND, uh, four digits, so let's just say it was one, two, three, four, we would add the leading zero to make that manufacturer code zero, one, two, three, four. Same thing for the product code, you'd add the leading zero to that segment. Package code, same thing, lead, lead, add the leading zero. However, we take a look at all these NDCs, we get them various sources, as well as manufacturers, and we'll take a look at the drug component for that. From there, we'll link them to the appropriate HICPI codes and take a look at the pricing for those individual NDCs. So NDC level pricing is a little different than code level pricing. Uh, usually there's three different levels. We'll have the pricing unit, the package size, and package quantity. So here's an example for Procrit. <clears throat> so we'll have 10,000 units per ml, and it's a solution. Uh, the pricing will be done at those three levels for both AWP and wholesale acquisition. We get wholesale acquisition being created by the manufacturer, AWP adding in the 20% markup provided they don't have suggested AWP. In this case, the unit price is based off of an ML. So there'll be a rate for that, $308.66. The package size is a vial. So there are two MLs in that vial. So we'll multiply that unit price by two to come up with a price per vial, $617.32. We also have a package quantity. So there is basically a packaging where each individual vial comes in a packaging of four. So again, you have a multiplier of four in this case. So this NDC, and this NDC level pricing, is actually yield three unique prices. One at the ML, one at the package size, then one at the package quantity being four vials. We kind of made it show as, as a pyramid on the right-hand side. Again, small, medium, large. However, for something like Remicade, which is an SOL, SOLR, a reconstituted solution, um, all the pricing are the same. The pricing unit is based off of an EA or each. The package size is a vial, the package quantity is that same vial. So the price in that case is all the same. But again, if you are looking at NDC level pricing, it's always make, uh, you have to make sure that you're looking at either the pricing unit, the package size, or package quantity level. 